In the late 1980s, the comic book landscape underwent a transformative shift marked by a growing appetite for darker and more mature storytelling. There were a number of reasons for that. More Swamp Thing, Miller's run on Daredevil, Crisis? One iconic series that epitomized this evolution was Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunters, a three-issue limited series written and drawn by Mike Grell. Under Grell's watch, Green Arrow matures into a hero that casts aside the super, embracing urban issues, street crime, and covert international operations. Longbow Hunters is a comic that reads far ahead of its time, and the stunning artwork is equally matched by a gripping story that laid down the foundation for Green Arrow today. Oliver Queen, the identity for the bow and trick arrow equipped hero, is celebrating his 43rd birthday by relocating from his home base of Star City to Seattle with his girlfriend, Dina Lance, the sonically powered hero, Black Canary. Upon reflecting on his career, where he is in his life and the future he wants with Dina, Oliver fully embraces his midlife crisis and rebrands himself. He abandons his trick arrows for traditional archery, changes his costume, and decides to recalibrate his mission. At the same time, a serial killer is stalking the streets of Seattle, and no one is able to apprehend them. Meanwhile, Dina has a lead on a drug ring operation nearby. Racked with guilt after seeing a young woman overdose in front of her, she decides to infiltrate the operation herself, basically pleading with Ollie to let her do this mission on her own. Mike Grell makes a strong statement from the opening pages of this series. Green Arrow was always a socially conscious hero for a majority of his career, and Grell had previous experience with the character. But in Longbow Hunters, he's able to dive so much deeper into the man behind the mask. The police in Seattle are inept at dealing with this serial killer, whose numbers are tallying up faster than the equally as moronic local media can report on. There's a drug problem that's escalating out of control. Oliver feels that he's ready to settle down and proposes the idea of marriage and children with Dina, only to be shot down. Dina isn't thrilled at the thought of jeopardizing what they already have, and her reluctance to bring children into this world is a heartbreaking, yet consciously responsible decision that Oliver doesn't take so easily at first. All of these recent revelations weigh on his shoulders, and as more prostitutes get snuffed, a mysterious female archer with a dragon tattoo shows up on the scene. Unlike Ollie, she's quick to act and takes the lives of bad guys, keeping innocence safe. To truly understand the essence of Longbow Hunters, one must first delve into the mind of Mike Grell. Known for his bold narrative choices, Grell's distinctive approach breathed new life into Green Arrow, transcending traditional superhero conventions. Throughout Longbow Hunters and the subsequent Green Arrow ongoing series that Grell would also handle, Oliver nor Dina are referred to by their superhero names. Even superpowered guest stars, they show up in their street clothes and they're referred to by their governments. Oliver tackles serious issues that were happening IRL at the time. Grell pushed Ollie into a world that he had only waddled into before one that he was reactionary to. Speedy, Arrow's sidekick, went through a bout of heroin addiction in a celebrated run during the early 70s, and Green Arrow, as mentioned, was a socialist-like hero during his time with Green Lantern and leading up to Grell's run. But by Longbow Hunters, it becomes much more grounded and cynical. Death and trauma holds weight, and it takes the character's time to process that. This is also reflected in the art. Grell is a highly educated artist, having studied in multiple different programs and even worked as an illustrator for the US Air Force. His approach to colors, panel layout, and character design is very cerebral, yet accessible. Often, this doesn't feel like a superhero story, but more so a gritty political crime drama. Longbow Hunters introduces Shadow, a mainstay in the Arrowverse that challenges Oliver's morals and emotions. I immediately got an Elektra Daredevil vibe from them, and to see how their chemistry first develops, the way they stare one another down before launching their arrows at the same target, or each other, is electrifying. 
After Dina runs into some serious trouble during her mission, Oliver spirals into a depressive state. He overtakes her cause, and after reluctantly partnering up with Shadow, uncovers the real culprits behind what's been going on in Seattle. It's through these three issues that Grell is able to depict several significant changes in established characters while introducing an incredibly complex one that rarely utters a word. Oliver realizes that in order for him to truly make a change, he needs to be grittier than those he's hunting. A message needs to be sent, and actions ultimately speak louder than words. But even when escalating his movements against crime, he still comes to the realization that it's too big, too powerful to ever truly dismantle. Shadow's backstory perfectly encapsulates that theme, showing the seeds of inescapable evil being planted unknowingly many years ago. Dina's trauma after her attack is also thoroughly looked at. Fan response to Grell stripping Black Canary of her powers has been mixed. In my opinion, I think it was a great move. It gave the characters an opportunity to really focus on their relationship and how they interact and treat one another. In the following ongoing series, you see Dina and Oliver handle serious hurdles like infidelity and living a child-free life. All the tension starts in LBH when Oliver kills Dina's attacker without hesitation, plunging the both of them into a hole of depression and destruction. Green Arrow Longbow Hunters marked a significant departure from the traditional superhero formula, depicting a Green Arrow grappling with moral ambiguities and confronting the shadows within himself. Grell's narrative choices dropped Oliver Queen into a world where right and wrong blurred, mirroring the societal complexities of the 80s. As the industry grappled with shifting norms, Longbow Hunters stood out as a trailblazer. In a landscape dominated by capes and masks, this series dared to explore the darker corners of heroism. It helped pave the way for more mature storytelling for comics of the 90s while building on the characters' rich histories built upon from decades past. If you're looking to get into pre-rebirth Arrow and you want something that's a little less cape traditional superhero, then yeah, go for this. This is a great run. Artistic innovation, visionary storytelling, and a respect for the reader's comprehension level, Mike Grell's Limited starts off an incredible run during an era that most would consider the most transformative era in comic book history. You owe it to yourself to go and grab this iconic run. Longbow Hunters is a masterpiece.